It's now 18 minutes past the hour. Welcome back to CCTV News. The chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Martin Dempsey, is in China for a four-day official visit. He, is, he has met his counterpart, Fang Fenghui. The two sides have expressed the importance of establishing a new type of military relations, which China interprets as equality, mutual benefit, and win-win cooperation. Dempsey has promised to advance ties between the two armies. Han Bin reports. The highest military protocol for the head of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff. General Martin Dempsey is welcomed by his Chinese counterpart, Fang Fenghui. The visit is aimed at expanding trust and understanding among the newly appointed military officials on both sides. Fang Fenghui said China is willing to work with the U.S. to address military relations within the framework of building a cooperative partnership. Dempsey says it's important to push the construction of solid U.S.-China military ties and keep moving forward. His visit comes a week after U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry. Dempsey's visit also comes amid escalating tensions on the Korean Peninsula. The U.S. wants China to play a bigger role in supporting Washington to put more pressure on Pyongyang, while China says all parties involved should exercise restraint and seek dialogue. Another focus is the U.S. stance in the territorial dispute between China and Japan over the Diaoyu Islands. Washington says it does not take position, but it also says that the islands are under the protection of the U.S.-Japan Security Treaty. Washington's focus shift to the Asia-Pacific region has raised China's concerns about U.S. military intentions. The U.S. seems to be playing a balancing act between containment and engagement with China. But despite differences on a number of issues, the two armies have reached consensus to build more sustainable relations in the long run. General Dempsey's visit is seen as a new sign of improved relations between the two armies. Both sides say they're willing to establish a new type of relationship, one in which they treat each other as cooperative partners rather than competitive adversaries. Yet it's still far from clear how much influence stronger military ties will actually have on the overall U.S.-China relations. Han Bin, CCTV, Beijing.